my own startup speech. But it's a message. Like I always say, anytime I buy a new book and I want to read, I have learned from experience to read from the first page. In those days, when I want to read books, I don't read the foreword. You know, I don't read the introduction. I will just go into the chapters. Until one day, I bought a book and I, I was so blessed by the introduction of the book. Ah! And I said to myself from that day, I will make sure that anytime I buy any book, I will read it cover to cover. Because even the, auto, the, bio, the biography of the author can also bless lives. So this morning, uh, evening, Matthew chapter 25, verse 14 to 30, is what I want to preach from. And I, you can give it any topic you like. Call it any topic. You know, at the end of the message, or the charge, or the introduction, or the, what do I call it, or the speech, just give it any topic that you feel. But I've come as a senior pastor of this church to declare the meeting open. Matthew 25 from verse 14 to 30. We have a tradition in our church. We used to stand up to read the first Bible passage together. Hallelujah. So once it is projected on screen, we all will rise up. I'll take verse 14. You take verse 15. I'll take verse 16. You take until we get to the last verse, verse 30. And I will try to see if I can share six things with, with you in the service. Are we set? Can we be on our feet in honor of the word of God? Let's be on our feet in honor of the word of God. I read verse 14. For the kingdom of heaven is like a man traveling to a far country who called his own servants and delivered his goods to them. He called the servants and delivered his goods to them. Now you read verse 15, 1, 2, 3, and let's go. And to one, he gave five talents. To another, two. And to another, one. To each one, according to his own ability. And immediately, he left. He went on a journey. Now I'll take verse 16. That's my own scriptural verse. Verse 16. Then he who had received the five talents went and traded with them and made another five talents now you read verse 17 let's go let's go and likewise he who had received two gained more to more also okay but he who had received one went and dunk in the ground and hid his lord's money verse 19 from you let's go after a long time the lord of those servants came and settled accounts with them he came and settled account so he who had received five talents came and brought five other talents saying lord you delivered to me five talents look i have gained five more talents beside them now you read verse 22 let's have 22 on screen okay 21 okay good and faithful servant you were faithful over a few things I will make you ruler over many things. Enter into the joy of your Lord. Mm, I read 22. He who also, sorry, he also, he also who had received two talents came and said, Lord, you delivered to me two talents. Look, I have gained two more talents beside them. Verse 23, let's go. His Lord said to him, well done, good and faithful servant. You have been faithful over a few things i will make you ruler over many things enter into the joy of the lord verse 24 then he who had received the one talent came and said lord i knew you to be a hard man reaping where you have not sown and gathering where you have not scattered seeds now you read verse 25 let's go and i was afraid and i went and hid your talent in the ground look there you have what is yours hmm. i read 26 but his lord answered and said to him you wicked and lazy servants you knew that i i reap where i have not sown and gather where i have not scattered seeds now you read verse 27 so you ought to have deposited my money with the bankers and at my coming i will have received back my own interest I read verse 28 so that so 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 take the talents from him and give it to him who has 
10 talents making 11 verse 29 let's go for to everyone who has more will be given and he will have abundance but from him who does not have even what he has will be taken away let's read 30 together after all i read your own verse with you too can we go one two three and let's go and cast the unprofitable servant into the outer darkness there will be weeping and gnashing of teeth father we ask for revelation give us a word and instruction that we turn our life around for good thank you father in jesus name we have prayed and amen can we have our seats in his presence thank you for coming again and i trust that today you will find your word now when i read you know i have i have preached from this particular parable severally in fact i've preached from this particular parable uh over a hundred times you know but when i was preparing for the opening speech at this convention it was at the i've prepared something else it was when i was listening to the choir ministration on friday choir when i was listening to your songs on friday that was when it came you will notice at that time i took my i took a pen i saw a sheet of paper and i instantly i started writing what god has for today so i had to change my message to this one now and what is the message here look at what the bible says it said that the kingdom of god of heaven is like this now we all are born again and brought into the kingdom of god hello if you are born again say i'm in the kingdom of god already yes now jesus is our king yeah you are all in the kingdom of god here on earth jesus is ruling and reigning over us he said the kingdom of heaven is going to be like this that a man was traveling that's the owner of the house was traveling and he decided to give his servants out of his goods i love that language which means that the owner of the house have goods now and what should be our first lesson i want you to learn and know that god has more than enough good things in his capacity in his in his possession now what's our first message the first thing i want you to know god has in his possession he's the owner of good things let me not even say he has it in his uh, in his possession he is the owner of everything that is good so god has more than enough good things he's the manufacturer of good things that's the first thing i want you to understand in this convention i don't know what you want are you trusting god for anything as long as it is good god is the manufacturer is it marriage is it children is it visas in fact you know what he said in his word he said the art is of the lord the fullness thereof he's the owner of the art so what does it cost him to move you from one part of what he owns to another part he wants to move you from nigeria you know, somebody is saying, sir, I'm trusting God. I want to be in Canada. Some is saying, sir, I'm trusting God. I want to be in Spain. It does not cost God anything. The Bible says the, own, the, the owner of the earth, he gave them from his goods. God has more than enough. Say, my God has more than enough. I want you to understand that God has more than enough. Now, and once you have this understanding, you know that there is nothing he cannot give. Because he's the owner of all things. In James chapter 1 verse 17, it is clearly confirmed. Every good and perfect gift is from God. It is from God. So anything that is good, look at it. Every good gift and every perfect gift is from above. And it comes down from the Father of light. Now that's God for you. Every good gift is from him. God has more than enough. There is nothing good that belongs to the devil. And who is God? If you are born again, God is your father. God has every good thing. I love the revelation that, uh, uh, what's his name? David had in Psalm 50. I love that one. I want us to read it. In Psalm 50, verse 8 to verse 14. Look at the encounter of David talking about God. Psalm 50 from verse 8. He said, I will, re I will not rebuke you sorry i will not rebuke you for your sacrifice or your bond offerings which are continually before me i won't rebuke you which are continually before me let's go on i will not take a bull from your house nor goat out of your folds 
God was going somewhere. For every beast of the forest is where? It's mine. A mini money. If you think you are giving to me, a mini for me. And the cattle on, on a thousand hills, God said it belongs to him. We are not serving a broke God. We are not serving a God that does not have. Understand that our God is the owner of every good thing. He said, I know all the birds of the fountains and the wild beasts of the field. They are what? They are mine. God is saying they are mine. What do you want to give me that is not mine? I read on. If I were hungry, I will not tell you. For the world is what? It's mine. And all its fullness, sir. That's why, understand it clearly. Because some people are thinking, are you sure? Are you sure God is in charge? God is in charge. And I will tell you some things today. God is in charge. So when the owner of the house was traveling, the Bible said the kingdom of God is there. He said to his children, let me give you out of my goods. Now, we're not yet true with that scripture. We're not yet true with that scripture. We, we are not serving a, a broke God. Will I, eat, will I eat the flesh of bulls or drink the blood of goats? God is saying, will I? Will I? Show me verse 14. That's where I'm going to stop in that verse. Offer to God thanksgiving and pay your vows to the most high. We are not serving a broke God. He has more than enough goods. All things are his. All things are what? Are his. My God is not broke. Shout to Allah, my God is not broke. Listen, he owns everything. Unloni. He owns everything. That's the God we have. Once you understand that, something about your life will settle. Hallelujah. Now, I now know the question that so many will be asking that I want to answer today. That out of all the things that my God owns, why is it that I still lack in certain areas? I know that's the question so many children of God are asking. Pastor, Pastor, and so pay along with Milo Nyungbogo, Kilowa de to Jacemi, one near one, come by, 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 by. To buy Jacelo, to along with Milo Ni, Cheko Yakin, Nin, come by in Now I'm going to show you. That's the question so many children of God are asking. But I want to take you back to that scripture we read. If you look at verse 15, can you please show us? Look at verse 15. There's no time. No time. No time. 15 and 16. We are going to read it. You know, I told you I'm not preaching. No, no, not, not Psalms. We are looking at Matthew 25 that we read. 15 and 16. Matthew 25. 15 and verse 16. Out of all that God owns. Some people are wondering, why is it that I don't have? And listen. And to one he gave five talents. Look at this. To another two and to another one, to each one, according to what? His own ability. Listen, he gave them not equally. Now, Kilo Bibeli is a He gave them according to their ability. He gave them according to their ability. He didn't give them according to his riches. So. Yes, sir. Yes, Hello? Yes, sir. You didn't hear me? Yes, sir. Now, let, let, let me explain to you now. He didn't give them according to his riches. He owns everything. But out of all he owns, he looked at this man. He said, this man can only manage five. You know what your ability is? How much you can undo. God is not going to bless anyone beyond how much they can handle because God hates waste. Anything you do, you can't handle. If God should give you, you will waste it. I told them to give me certain things. We use them as illustration. Now look up. Your ability is how much you can handle. This is a cup. We use this for our communion here. This is a cup. We use it to drink water. They are both containers. Now, this, let's just assume that this is what God has. We are only assuming. And this is one person. This is one person's capacity. Now, this is what God has. 
God wants to give him. God wants to give him. God wants to give him. But look at, he can't take any more. Because this is where his capacity has reached. Now, this is another person again. Now, he's receiving and receiving and receiving and receiving and receiving. He got to a point. He stopped. God hates waste. God had to stop. God still has more than enough, but he does not have space to contain. We are going somewhere. Why is it that some children of God has small, some children of God has in abundance? It is what? Capacity problem. What do I call it? Ability problem. It is not God's fault that your capacity is not large. Because before I used to think that it is God that determines our size. No, sir. It is not God that determines our capacity. Nobody was born with small capacity. Nobody was born with big capacity. Hear me. When we pray for provision, you know what God will give us? He will give us hunger that will make us look for how to increase our capacity. I will tell you how. A lot of people are praying, Lord, Uluwa Lumi, Uluwa bless me, Uluwa Bemiga, Uluwa Jo, Uluwa, Uluwa Begbiega. But you have not improved your ability. Now, look up. I'm, I'm, I want to show you something. I want to show you something. Now, you see me as, as slim as I am. Do you know that if I decide at this age to go to the gym, register for bodybuilding, and I begin to follow their training to build my muscles, you will see that give me one or two years. If I follow it well and follow the instruction of my gym instructor, are you following what I'm saying? You will see that by the time I will come out, my muscles will come out. You will say, ah, this is the same pastor. You will now see that I will be able to lift things that I could not naturally lift before. Why? I went to develop my muscles. A lot of children of God are not developing their ability. Hear me. If you have a job, all you can get is one salary. Hello? But if you have a job, you have a business, apart from one salary, what will you get again? You will get income from that business. What have you just done? You have expanded your capacity. I'm coming somewhere. Now, a lot of children of God, they don't know that it is not God that determines their ability. That's why you see that a young boy will go to school as an ordinary person and come out as a lawyer. Example. He graduates as a barrister. Goes to law school. Oh, no, graduates as a law student. Goes to law school. Come back after one year. Becomes a lawyer. Now, and maybe he wants to go to the job market to work in a law firm. They won't price him or her the same way they will price a school sat older. Hello? One in I'm a school sat older as a clerk. I'm a school sat older as messenger. But we say, I'm a lawyer as clerk. To attend that CV, I'm a lawyer as a school. They will start negotiating. Okay, a lonely, I'm a son if, well, in this firm, we pay fresh lawyers one million per month. Let somebody say, ah, holy, yeah, me, one million. I'm not going to go to the university. I'm 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 going to go to the Are you sure you are here with me? Now, that's what God sent me to tell you in this opening charge that your capacity must be developed. Listen, I wrote here, God is not the one to give you new abilities. It is your responsibility to develop your ability. It is like your muscles. It is like an elastic. The more you stretch the elastic, the more it stretches. The more you stretch the elastic, the more it stretches. A lot of children of God are not working on themselves at all. I told them one story in our church many years ago. There's this businessman, not many years, many months or months ago. This businessman at Ogunpa here, Labawo, while he was doing business, nobody knew what he was doing with his money. But this man 
grew to a point, he could no longer run around. Everybody used to call him Bros, Bros, because he was an elderly man. But we used to be surprised. This man will come to the shop in the morning. He will sit down with other Igbo guys and they will be playing. He will open his shop. If you look into his shop, there's no single goods inside the shop where he's paying rent. This man will now sit down and be playing draft with small, small boys. His breakfast, he will eat it there. His lunch, he will eat it there. You know, Igbos eat before they go home at night. Especially in business, in their business place. He will eat the evening meal there and other guys will be playing with him. So one day I was wondering, what is this Baba doing? He, there's nothing in his shop. Do you now know that when I now got closer to him, this man smiled. He said, if I tell you how much is coming in for me every month, pastor, you'll be shocked. I said, I don't understand. He said, all the, my years of doing business, I was buying shares with my properties, with my gain. I bought shares in First Bank. I bought shares of GT. I bought, he was mentioning banks and companies. He has shares and he has large shares in those banks. He said, so every season that they declare profit, I know how much enters my account. Do you think me that I'm playing draft? I don't know what I'm doing. That man has expounded his capacity waiting for his old age. It is not God that will expand your capacity for you, sir. So here now. Hmm? Yes, Let let's look at a story so that you can learn from it. It's like somebody's getting angry. I told you you are the one that will determine the topic of the message. Are you here with me? I wrote here. Go on a self-development journey to improve what you can do. Go on this. Don't just sit down and be begging around. There are several things you can do, sir. And to bani lati to not to share color coy share. You want to bani lati pada si school pada si school. Lo ex lo expand capacity here. Allah unfe fueni in kanto po. You want capacity here, ba? And my wife, we took somebody to uh, well, somebody. The person was telling us they want he wants to learn a particular uh, kind of business. So we took this person. We got to that person's shop. When we got to the person's shop, the woman that owns the business introduced herself as a medical student of Leeds City University. He said, "I graduated from Leeds City, and when I came out, I had this business idea. I practice." I went to learn this thing and I've established my sh sh showroom here. When I'm not doing this one, I'm doing this one. Container me lulenny. Me sorrow container over the ship by you. I'm coming to lunch she for me. I myself as your pastor, listen, there was a time in my life as a pastor that all the kind of people I, I could pastor were children. I want more KKK. You know why I brought all these books here? I now went to what I call a self discovery You know, I decided to begin to build myself. The first books in my life that I started reading were this woman's books. They call her name Rebecca Brown. I read this one. Over 27 years ago, he came to set the captive free. He led me to vessel unto honor. Then I went to unbroken courses. Now, when I finished this book, sir, my prayer life jacked up. Then Lord, I, I have to expand. I have to expand. Now I started reading John Maxwell's book. Book where in fact, Shashani way John Maxwell to me. I will ex I was expanding my capacity. Because I want it, but it is not everybody that come to church that came for prayer. Some people will come to church to gain wisdom. Yes. I want to be able to speak and doctors will write. I want to be able to speak and lawyers will say, this man is making sense. So I went to, I went to the bookshop. I, I'm showing you. These are some of my books. Open the office mail, but I want to move it. Now look at this one. I don't joke with this one. John Maxwell. 
I read, I read this one the way I read Bible. I read, look at it, the winning attitude, developing the leaders around you, becoming a person of influence. I've read this book 25 years ago. Talent you cannot for me. Some of you, you are not your capacity is more not more, more than this. Need 2024. Let me tell your neighbor, say, expand your ability. Expand your ability. Expand. Tomba, Tomba, my need to go to his share cosa. Lord, to call. Or what is soon? One of our sons was sharing with me here. I sat here. He said, Papa, I just want to tell you something. I am the head, uh, the, the, the person making the hair of the governor's wife. The last governor and this present governor. He says, I was just in my shop when the call came in. Can you come and make this hair for somebody? He said, he, he dressed up and he went. It was the PA of the governor that called him. So when he got to the office, he said, come. He said he was shocked when the governor's wife walked in, sat down. He was looking at himself. Show me the address at all your states. And when there's a me, one called you washing and setting. Oh, no, she's in 2024. Tell your neighbor, expand your capacity. He gave them according to their individual abilities. Ability. 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 Uh -huh. I wrote here, my journey after my pastor's church collapsed, I, discussed, I sat down, I asked myself, why did this, my pastor's church collapse? We, were built, he, we built our ministry on gifts. But me, I went to read, the rule of management, written by Richard Templar. The rule of work, written by Richard Templar. The rule of wealth, written, written by Richard Templar. I've, I've read it. When I wanted to start teaching about marriage, I went to buy this one. Men are from Mars, women are from Venus. Because see, a woman thinking is different from that of a man. No? A man may be thinking of house rent. A woman may be thinking of powder. I'm on rocker. And you'll be shocked. The way the woman is created, she's created from inside. She thinks about the beauty of life. The man was created from outside. He, he knows what is called the, the life itself. That's why you see that. If a husband and wife are going for a program, we are going for a program, the woman will carry a bag. The man will think, I don't need a bag. But let them get to the fun function. The man will need something that the woman has already put in the bag. But when the woman is talking about the man is angry, let's go now, let's go now. What kind of rubbish is this? So I went, I bought this book, I read it, Pali to Pali. I read this one too, Pali to Pali. What every woman wants in a man, and the other part, what every man wants in a woman. I've read this book 15 years ago. I was expanding my capacity. That how will I pastor people and I cannot minister to their marital life? Will I go and be inviting guest speaker every time to come and preach to them when it comes to marriage? That's why you say, you say, Papa, you preach so far. Ah, thank you, sir. God bless you. Sir. Are you getting what I'm saying? Say your ability. Money me for preach. me to my preach by. Listen, I wrote another one here. I remember when the doctor told us after we we got married at ah, Romobi, we went to do tests. You know what the doctor said? He said, Pastor. Your wife does not have the ability to be pregnant because she's not menstruating. 
So he showed us what to look for. I didn't come to the other time. Period. 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 We went medically to look for it. We couldn't find it. Until we, we, we found it when we used a bad drug. And today, that problem is gone. He gave them, each one of them, that's why you see that it was after he came back and saw that the man with five talents had made five more. Oh, okay, he let it expand. Let's give him one more to make eleven. Say I hear, say I hear, say I hear. Ay, 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 ay. That's why let him convention he to buy money. Let it to in share color to call. To buy money, let it carry his sister. Hello, Cassie. To buy money, let it improve. Ni nun kote in she. Hello, improve. Here. Yes. But she's talking Nigeria, Kulima, everybody. Oh, I beg you, Moki Kulima, everybody. Yes, and what's a label with Beta Wangbe? Cementing Wally, truck is cementing Wally, or Fulung Bajad, Lumbajadi, and one hundred seven five. Pabak. But the thing is that. Especially our tag by Christy Tawan in New York, I got capacity. I'm on contact. I do an act that do a wow. Wow, she me la do out that boba shake battle. So long will it down. I do any kiss it because they down with a phone only both equal. I beg you, I want to be clear. 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 Let's go for that. Let's go for that. I will soon close. Listen, the widow's prophet is a perfect example. Show us first. First, second Kings chapter four, one to seven. The widow's prophet. Second Kings chapter four, from verse one. A certain woman of the wives of the sons of the prophets cried out to Elisha, saying, "Your servant, my husband, is dead. Ah, and you know that your servant feared the Lord." And the creditor is coming to take his my two sons to be slaves. Oko mitiku, beseto je kotoku, enta je lo wo otifem magba omo miji tabi ede mongwe. Oko mi kotoku oberu olorun, iberu olorun e mongkantu ma dafunwa o ma mu adorun ni kujia lo wo kumi kwe amalo. I've written this in my book. What did he do with the money that is equal to two sons? He didn't have ability. Be a one thing journey. To back bo la poto she she wan wa. Olo olo njo ba mi son ba 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 shimba shimba da pada. Ovi journey. On vo la poto journey. Abe mo kwa kivi journey. On vo la poto she bedi. On vo la poto she bati. Iru ho yena kwe ni shikini. Bamule. And the cause of me, only you will your wish, Muni Muni Ron, Muni Mutig Bari. Mude low, 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 low. Have you called it? If I have a cool, be one for one certificate, but about to need the Kato Padawa to the Puning Katafin She. But will you lay? I'm sure of it, Jamaican, 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 where you be Latin Mapari. It's the fellow. Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? I don't have all the time. Vasu, Vasu, we're in Vasu now. Vasu. 
too nay. So Elisha said to her, What shall I do for you? Tell me, what do you have in the house? And she said, Your maid servants have nothing in the house. Can you see? Nothing in the house except what? Jar of oil. Then he said, What did the man of God say? Go and borrow what? Vessels. Lower container to pour. From everywhere. From all your neighbors. Empty vessels. Do not gather just one. That's why our Lord tell them in our church. You should not just have one job. Your source of income should not be one. That's why. Go. Borrow plenty vessels. Improve yourself so that you become hot cake. And when you have come in, you shall shut the door behind you and your sons. Then pour it into all the vessels and set aside the full ones. Now listen. Verse 5, verse 5, verse 5. Move on. I want to beat this time. So she went out from him, shut the door behind her, her sons, and brought vessels. Look, Can you see? As she was bringing vessels, the oil was coming. As she was bringing vessels, as long as you have container, provision will come. But if you don't have container, then you don't have provision. Let's read on. So she went from, uh, from him and shut the door behind her and her sons who brought the vessels to her and she poured it out. She was just pouring. Next verse. She was just pouring. Now it came to pass, when the vessels were full, that she said to her sons, bring me another vessel. And he said to her, there is not, there is not another vessel. So what happened to the oil? It stopped. God hates waste. It will stop now. Because if you talk about that, see more. Tell me, no, even Muti, Shamoki, Tabanda, Nino, a jo, dear, dear, who will lend that joy. Bobo Liberty Road, there was a time I sat down with one elderly man. Man, he said, when they were selling Liberty Road, I knew. He said, but nobody wanted to live in Liberty Road because it was the forest. K. Bun Lani, Agitun Lani, Liberty Road. Poor Mount Baton, Taku sent to Ferrabe. So, Rono Jebutu, fellow Rale, see. What are you doing? You're expanding your capacity. When our governor started doing that, Akubo, uh, after Akubo, um, what did they call that place? So, after Akubo, uh, eh? Alone, that, you know they are doing that express now. A man told me, he said, Pastor, I have six acres. Only about my eighty more, forty forty thousand more and buy one feet two two million. But me, plot by but some of you, pizza will not allow you to save. It's like it's because of you they set up Domino's pizza. <laughs> Don't be angry. Oh. I bet you know. I show up on water. Thank you. So the oil ceased. Go out to see bell. It will have instruction to full my container. It's all so as long as container has finished. You know, that was what I used to share with, with Pastor Emma those days. Once he comes home in those days with his bike, the wife say, and there is no food in the house, so he says, I'm coming. He will carry his bike, go and walk. Once he hits the amount they will use to eat for that day, he will carry his bike, come back. I don't, if the wife says, no gas, <laughs> you don't remember, he will go again, he will make money for gas, he will come and drop it. That man I was sharing with you, this is him. He's here, he's not a pastor with us. The second day again, he will go and work for money to eat for that day. But while he was doing it, we have another man, uh, Brother Joshua. Brother Joshua will tell me that, Papa, I'm a bike man. 
but Papa, I have target. I make up my mind that I will. I am in a contribution of two two thousand every day. I am in another contribution of one thousand every day. That one one thousand every day is for the repair of my bike. Two two thousand every day is to expand my business. He did Okada business for two years. He bought Marua. Some people are just too lazy. You go and come back. <sighs> I don't tire. Man, I go for forever. Man, I don't fall anywhere. My friend, go and expand what? Your capacity. See, let's summarize. Let's summarize. With that, what, what was the instruction? I will stop here. I can't go beyond this because of time. Look at this. Now it came to pass. Okay, we have taken this. The oil ceased. After the oil ceased, key to one the next instruction. Our caterers re ready. Okay, thank you. Then she came and told the man of God. And the man of God said, Madam, go. Look at this instruction. Sell the oil. Do what? Pay your debt. Do what? You and your sons live on the rest. What is that? Divine settlement. Some of you, when you have one super pro, one super opportunity, the next thing you say, they didn't bury my great grandmother well. One thing, yeah, yeah, me dad, I fetch a final barrier. Tori Kwekini, Owo Kanwale, Avi, Semi, Semi Beria, Lashing by final affection. But this woman, what is often, eh, Chori, Bogo Rotori, Ta. Sang be si enwe. E to baku iwa ta wan mami ge jire. Live on. Can I tell you this truth? Your future is in your hand. That's why. Go on what? Self-development. Anything that can make you expand. That can make your worth to increase. Go for it. I come again. Anything that can make your worth to increase, go for it. Don't just remain that you that you have been all your life. If you want to invite Messi Chingwo to come and sing, it's 15 million. As I was told. Is it not praise and worship? That's what somebody will say. But she has in, in, she increased, she, she worked on herself. I will tell you more at the success seminar. She improved herself and everybody wants her. I'm telling you, I don't think she's the one that put that price on herself. It is people that put it on her. I was listening and watching Obi Kubana begging David to come and future in one program they wanted to do. He said, I was begging him with $500,000. Work on yourself. You can be better than this. If you become better than this, they will not price you like this again. Have you learned something today? In this convention, hear me, sir. Open up for the principles that will make your word to increase. A hey, job. Several servants of God are coming to teach us. Pick up my own today. What is the one I've taught you today? Go and improve yourself. Don't remain where you are. Go and improve yourself. You will see that once you improve yourself, your word will change. The Lord bless you. I believe I, did, I hope I didn't preach. 